Today I'm on location at Semco. Semco is a privately owned earth moving dealer that sells equipment Australia wide. Last week they exhibited at the annual 7X trade show and today I'm with Satch Centilli, their sales director. You've been with Semco attending trade shows for the past 20 years and you must have tried a few different things to promote the stand. What have you done Satch and what's worked? Well, that's actually a very interesting question. We've done, okay, well, I'll go through a different things. Obviously, we've had the girls walking around giving away the hat, the cap, the water bottle, the key ring. We've had TV personalities give out things. We've had, we've had muscle men. We've had all sorts of things. And there's only one big problem with that. You give them something, they don't need to do anything. They just walk past, grab the cap, grab the hat, say hello and move on. For the past three years, you've used a really unique promotion to pull them onto your stand. Correct. Tell us what you've done. Okay, what we do is, is we get a treasure chest, uh, locate that in the back of the stand. We get a heap of keys cut out and we actually get some girls, the Semco girls, to sort of walk around the sites, populate the sites, saying to people, if you come on our stand, you've got a great chance to win some fantastic prizes. So what happens when a visitor turns up on the stand with a key in their hand? Uh, it's quite funny actually, they turn up and they've got this key in their hand with a card and they say, uh, oh, where's the treasure chest? And you sort of direct them to the back of the stand obviously and they line up in a fairly passive queue which we generally have all day and they try their luck. So if there's only one treasure chest, how do the visitors feel about waiting in line to try their key in the treasure chest? Oh no problem at all Alan, very passive, very happy and a great atmosphere when we're handing out brochures and talking to them while they're waiting. No problem at all. So Satch, what was the mix of winning and losing keys that you gave out? Well uh, basically we put out about a thousand keys uh, and there were 15 winners. So if there are only 15 winners, there must have been a lot of people who turned up at the treasure chest with a losing key. Okay, well, the losing key guy tried it and we said to him, there's a lady there, said, look, you can try again on the second chance draw. Um, we said, put your name and details on the card with the key and we were gonna draw another draw later on the day and you could possibly win a prize also. So the whole purpose of the second chance draw was just to get leads? Correct, just to get their names and addresses. We got them on the stand initially, and then if they didn't win, put your details down, put it in the box, and you've got a second chance. You gave away a thousand keys. How many people did you get back on your stand, and how many addresses did you get? Well, it's quite incredible. We got 647 keys back. Let me confirm that. You gave away a thousand keys, and 647 came back to the stand with their names and addresses? Correct. How do you feel about that? Fantastic, fantastic. Okay. Some people say that of those 647 people that came back to your stand, they're all, not all going to be buyers today. Alan, that's defeatist because everyone's a buyer and in our industry they know people, they're related to people, uh, they could win a contract tomorrow. No, I don't, that doesn't wash with me because everyone that's at that show is a buyer. So if you had 647 people on your stand, I guess that's a lot better than watching a thousand walk past. Correct. This promotion physically gets them on your stand. End of story. And you know what? When you do a show, that's all you want them to do. You just want them to come on your stand. So here's one for the accountants. It costs you 60 grand to be there and two grand for the keys. Value for money? Absolutely. I would spend two grand on a black and white page ad in the magazine with, along with 150 other supplies. No brainer, cheap as. Satch, thanks very much for your time today. Thank you, Alan. So if you're planning to exhibit at a trade show, a conference or a seminar, and you'd like more people on your stand, perhaps the treasure chest and key idea can work for you. We've made other videos on our website which explain items like the mix of winning and losing keys, the selection of prizes, and most importantly, how to use the second chance draw to build up a database. Thanks for joining us, and good luck with your next event.